test. What you're hearing now has been recorded fully. In order to record your sound, you need a soundproof or sound ready room. But what it means is that you should try to not have an echo. You should really avoid big empty rooms where the sound can bounce off the walls. Wait a minute. But what if that cannot be avoided and you end up filming your videos in a big empty conference room of a co-working space? But let's start from the beginning. How does a full professional setup look? After many years of trying to find the best setup for me, I ended up with a big microphone, a Shure SM7B, that requires a cloud lifter to boost the sound and a recorder to either record or output the sound. And this is all excluding the big cables. I've tried traveling with the setup, it's a no-go. So we should scratch the big microphone as an option for lightweight gear setup. There is no way where you can travel with all of these. Or is it? What if you don't have a soundproof room? Well, <coughs> I'm here to tell you that I cannot afford a soundproof room. I don't have the money for that, so we really need to figure something out. And I think I just might have done that. <coughs> Test. Welcome everyone. We have a lot of things to do. This is part two of the series where we film lightweight studio setups in very public spaces. In part one, we tried our best to shoot product studio shots in a co-working cafeteria. This time around, we're pushing it a bit more because as I was watching the footage from the last shot, I noticed, especially in this room, there's a bit of an echo. So how can we get the sound levels up but also keep the whole thing lightweight. This is how the room are, sounds directly on the Sony built-in microphone. The iPhone has basically three ways to record sound. Well, maybe four. One, the voice recorder. Two, the built-in sound profiles inside the camera app. They have stereo sound, mono sound, and newly released spatial sound. Let's put that to the test. And what we're gonna try now is to see if we can get the same the same actual quality if I use the iPhone as my recordings, my recording setup. And now we're recording everything in mono. So, hello popsicle people, testing one, two, three. Will the mono version of the iPhone 16 Pro be better at recording sound instead of my camera? We're now testing out the stereo. Hello popsicle people, testing one, two, three. Hello popsicle people, testing one, two, three. And we are now testing the spatial audio on the iPhone 16 Pro. Hello, popsicle people, testing one, two, three. Mm, look, look, button, goddamn button, Jesus. Spatial sound does some magic AI trickery to get you to a studio setup quality. We're going to settings of the camera and we're choosing spatial audio. So we have spatial audio, stereo and mono. So let's give this a try. Hello, popsicle people, testing one, two, three. Spatial audio on the iPhone 16 Pro. Hello, popsicle people, testing one, two, three. 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 16 Pro, hello, popsicle people, testing one, two, three. All right, all right, so this doesn't sound that studio level. So what other options do we have? It all has to be in some sort of bag that is not professional. And here we are. Very expensive setup with a lot of gear to be able to hold on to this big microphone? Well, you would be amazed because what you're hearing now has been fully recorded on the iPhone, connected to this microphone and then put on top of that recording. Now, does this sound good? I don't know. We'll see. Hello, Popsicle people. Testing one, two, three. This is the test of the microphone Rode Pod blah, 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 mic that is one kilogram heavy. One kilogram heavy. That is very, very heavy. The shotgun mic. Recording on the DD mic, shotgun mic. Hello, popsicle people, testing one, two, three. Hello, popsicle people, testing one, two, three. I wonder if this DD will remove any of the echoes happening around. 
around us. <sighs> I'm almost like a hand, hand distance away, so this feels almost like a vlogging setup, but I do have a very wide lens, so you should keep that in mind. These are not, uh, these are a bit expensive. Anyway, on to the next thing. The famous DJI Mic 2 with its 32-bit float recording. And by the way, this 32-bit, this is only internal. So basically you would have to record on this and then put it on top of the camera after you've edited it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna record with this. Come on. And now it's recording internally. It's 32-bit float. So let's give this a try. Hello popsicle people, testing one, two, three. Hello popsicle people, testing one, two, three. And now if this would be a lavalier mic, it would be somewhere here, right next to the other little lavalier mic. Hello popsicle people, testing one, two, three. Hello popsicle people, testing one, two, three. These are the two recordings on both of these lavaliers. There's one design flaw that I think I found with this little Holyland Lark M2, is that this wheel is too easy to move. I found myself moving it as I was installing it or sometimes even while handling the whole, the whole camera. So it's not complicated, it's easy to change by mistake. Same as the button that Apple added as an innovation. As I've been filming this weekly vlog, well, I'm not sure it's that weekly, but I've been filming this vlog last year, I found out that what's stopping me from creating more content is the actual steps I have to take in order to get the content ready. If I have to do a lot of post-processing, I'm gonna delay it. If I have to do a bit of a sound engineering, push it to tomorrow, and then it ends up being a week, and then it ends up being a month. You wanna avoid that also, so you have to have a very simple way of filming yourself and getting the content out to the quality where you can get it to, where the quality doesn't impact me actually getting the videos out. Because if it's too much work, I will probably not do it. And Look at me, look at me. You will probably avoid publishing content if it's really hard to get to the finished product. Okay, I guess we're done with that.